I grew up in a trailer park. <laughs> like a lot of people look at me and they think like I'm the first one to even graduate high school, let alone go to college in my family. So people look at me and they go, oh, she's so successful. But what they don't realize is I had to break generational, generational cycles. Curses. Yes, yes. Yeah, to get to where I'm at. And I still have those moments of imposter syndrome. Like, well, what if someone finds out that I used to live on, grow up on welfare? Will they think that I don't deserve this success? Oh, Jack. You know what I mean? Like, what <sighs> if someone finds out that about me? Because there were times in my life where people did judge me for that. They did. In high school, middle school, you know, I'd had boyfriends, you know, think less of me because of once they found out how I grew up. And that's still, that little girl inside of me still has to, um, you know, I still have to comfort her. Wow. I still have to say that you are not like where you come from, like that yeah. doesn't matter. I, that's why, that's what saved me when you ask like, where did that come from? Because that's what saved me as a little girl is thinking about 10 years from now when I got out of there, how, you know, who was the person I wanted to be? And that's when I would just make decisions. Every, no one was there telling me to get good grades. No one was there telling me to go to college. You know, no one was telling me to do these things but I said, who do I want to be? Because I had no role models to show me. So I had to reverse engineer mm -hmm, how to become mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. person I wanted to be. 